Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little different. It's a tutorial. In my last video, a lot of you saw the printed notes I was using for certain chapters and kept asking how I did that. So in this video, I'll show you the exact process. But before we start, here's an important disclaimer. Always, I mean always try to make your own notes. Nothing can beat your own handwritten notes because when you write something yourself, it stays in your memory much longer. The only situation where printed notes can actually help if your question practice is getting compromised due to the lack of time. If you're doing this just because you feel lazy, trust me, it's gonna backfire. And if you do go with printed notes, you must annotate them, revise them thoroughly and ideally make short notes in your own style. Otherwise, it won't help and you'll just end up wasting money on printing. Now with the disclaimer out of the way, let's move into the tutorial. So here I am in my computer screen. Make sure you follow along so that you do not miss any important step. So basically the first thing you need to do is go to that specific chapter. So I'm gonna go to organic chemistry and aldehyde ketones and carboxylic acids. Once you have reached here, you need to download all of the slides in PDF format. And I'm gonna do this. This is one, two, Yeah, now once they are done, they're gonna show up in your downloads, as you can see. So the next step is that you need to go to this website. I would leave the link in the description. Now you need to go back to your downloads folder and drag and drop the files over here. Now comes the important step. Compression, make sure you select grayscale. All right. Now, let it be how it is, same. Here, you need to do the main part. Thing is, it will have multiple pages per sheet. Click this, no border, three pages per sheet. And now you need to copy whatever I'm doing, okay? Keep this two, keep this two, keep this two, and also keep this as two, same. No, it, it can actually be one. Over here, you need to click invert colors. So I'm gonna go through the settings once more. In compression tab, you need to make sure this is selected to grayscale. And in layout, it has to be selected to multiple pages per sheet. This has to be three pages per sheet, no border. And the margins, you can copy my settings. Inner margin has to be one millimeter. And in optimization, you need to click invert colors. That's it. So now you can rename this as uh, uh, something like full notes. Also, the batch is Laksha 2026, so like this. Now you're gonna click convert. It's gonna take some time, so you need to be patient. Now, since the notes are downloading, let's talk about question practice because that's where the real prep happens. One resource I genuinely recommend is the Disha J PYQ book. It's the only book with 100% PYQs and 100% solution for both J mains and advanced. You get 48 years of advanced and 24 years of mains. Every single question fully solved. The chapter follows the NCRT flow, so your prep stays aligned. It also includes the latest 2025 papers, all sessions, and has separate sections for mains and advanced within each chapter. For mains, each topic is divided into MCQs and NVQs, and for advanced, into 10 question types. So you cover everything in the exact exam pattern. This book is honestly a very strong source for PYQ practice. And we all know PYQs are the most important part of the prep. They are the only real way to check whether you are at the right level for J. Especially for advanced, solving PYQs tell you if your preparation is on the right path or not. If you are able to tackle them, you should be confident you are moving in the right direction. And this book contains literally all of the PYQs, so I think it's a good purchase. I have left the link in the description and pinned comments. Check it out if you want the most complete PYQ resource. As you can see, it has started downloading now. And you can just open it and this is how it's gonna look like. Uh, per page has like three slides. Now, once you go to a printing shop, you can directly print this and it won't be much of an issue. So this is all for the video. Thanks for watching. And in case you like this kind of content, subscribe.